Bob Rabinowitz with McIntyre Rabinowitz Architects, and we're here today at the home of Nick Hughes and Kim Stukenberg, our wonderful clients. We finished their home about, oh, about nine months ago, and we're going to take you on a tour. Come join us. Hey, Nick. Hey, guys. Welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. I'll give you an elbow bump. How about oh. it? practice good safety measures here. Oh, my God. Um, Come on in. This is my daughter, Camila. Camila, this is Nick. Nice to meet you. How are you? Well, why don't we start with a tour of the living area? When we started the project, we're in Garden Oaks, and this is a pretty, the neighborhood has a pretty neutral palette, but we decided to pick up on the mid-century vibe that you see in some of the houses here. And one thing Kim requested was she wanted brick inside the house somewhere, it didn't matter which room, but somewhere. So we decided to use it in the kitchen floor, and then we also tied it in on the exterior, the master suite and the exterior of the brick porch. And then another thing we did to warm up the house was we used natural wood, which is fur in this case, in the louvers above the entry, in the louvers above the, um, the kitchen cabinets, and in other places in the house. We got a nice, beautiful day in Houston. It's amazing. Who knew we could have a breeze? Let's go to the street porch. Awesome. I love screen porches, and they are often are the heart of our home. And um, Nick, do you guys spend much time out here? We spend all our time out here. Um, we try to eat out here almost all day, every day. Uh, we rarely use the dining room except for special occasions. We eat right here. That's awesome. And and what's nice about screen porch is it really connects you with nature more because you're out here, you actually hear birds chirping, you hear the pool, the water in the pool. So it's a great experience and there's a nice breeze out here today. So this is a model we did of Nick and Kim's house, and we use a lot of modeling on our projects. We find it both a great study tool within our own office and a great communication tool with our clients. And so as you can see, this is a long, skinny site, and we zone the house. We have the living zone in the middle on the first floor, um, bedrooms, kids' bedrooms, studies on the second floor. This is the master suite at the front. This is the screen porch and the garage. And so the house, this U shape of the house helps um, buffer sound from the freeway and Shepherd Drive is over here on this side of the site and, and frames this courtyard. Um, so Nick, how did you find the model as a tool during the design process? For, for me, this was everything. I am a little old school, I'm a little more traditional. I love, and we didn't even know that this was part of your process uh, when we were going into it. So 
when I saw Marco bring this out, I was, I mean, I couldn't have been more thrilled. It was mm -hmm. awesome. We've come up the stair, we're now in the second floor stair hallway. And as you can see, we like really wide stairs and halls so that it feels more like a room and a space that you're in. The stairway itself is on axis with the corner living room window. It's a subtractive window into the space and aligns with the planter outside so the space expands outside the house. Let's walk down to Kim's study. another sitting room. Uh, we had hoped to create not just your typical office, have some sort of uh, cozy sitting area in here as well, so it didn't feel like you were completely at work. homeowners but we are first time home builders and I can definitely say we would have never come up with a house this awesome if it weren't for Bob's uh, Not at all what we envisioned but extremely happy with how it came out. How do you like living in your new house? We love it. There's really not, you know, most people, if you talk to most people who buy a new build, they'll have some regrets if they wish they would have done this or wish they would have done that. There are almost none here. Um, honestly, they, Bob came up with a great design, a great functional design. We get compliments left and right on it. Um, it's, it's exactly what we want. Can you describe the design process working with the architect and other consultants? The, the design process was very, uh, it was much more detail oriented than we ever would have thought, but kind of get what you put into it. So um, Bob and the guys really did a great job of, I don't want to say forcing us, but getting us to really think through most things and understand the, the whys and the hows and that sort of stuff on thinking through where we put certain rooms or how we want certain dimensions, certain materials, that sort of stuff. Um, we spent much more time in the design process than we thought or planned for. But I'm glad we did because that made the build that much easier and then the final product came out well because we spent that time. And finally, is there anything you would like to change about your house or do it differently? I mean, right right now there's there's a few little kind of landscape projects and things like that that you just kind of piddle around with, but nothing major. Um, truly, there's not anything that we don't have that we wished we had. Uh, it's just a good design. Thank you. Sure.